Hello, welcome to another Toneless Landscape Oil Painting Demonstration. This is your painter in residence. I'm Francis McCarthy, and the painting I am bringing you today is called Road Through the Woods. It is a 10 by 14, and I painted it back in like... I'm not real sure. <laughs> I want to say... Uh, January, February, something like that. I'm pretty happy with it. It's um, I always like to go. Uh, uh, well, I don't always. I, once in a while, I like to go after these woods type scenes. They're always a big challenge in uh, the elimination of detail, since you know, if you've been in the woods, there's a lot of stuff going on there, and you've got to simplify and find the big uh, sort of, um, you know, the big sort of. Uh, shapes and colors and focus on that so in this case it'd be the road um, and a lot of times the real focal point of these types of scenes for me will be sort of the light coming through the trees which I'm very attracted to um, I decided to kind of key actually better open this up so I can see what it looks like as I'm, as I'm chatting here with you there we go yeah, so I decided to kind of key it off of a, um, all right, picture, get it together, man. Um, kind of a uh, coolish uh, green and then um, kind of a deep coolish yellow for the highlight and uh, um, offset with, of course, the um, kind of purpley tones, reddish tones in the ground, and the cool gray of the road. And I'm real happy with the um, the direction of the colors I took here. Um, looking at it, like one of the things I did was a bit of scumbling on those trees and that are further back to kind of push them back. Uh, and I kind of kind of wonder if I could have gone a little further with that, but now I'm happy with it. And you know, the thing is, you got to keep moving forward. And uh, oh, this reminds me. It's that time of the video where I ask you if you like my channel, you like what I'm doing here, if you could uh, smash that like button and leave a comment. It's not, you know, it's it's not really an either or. You you can like it and leave a comment. Comments they don't need to be extensive. It could just be a nice vid mic or uh, I appreciate the vid mic or I don't know whatever. <laughs> you could just hey emojis are fine too. Um, the thing is like. Uh, YouTube really digs the video interaction. That's what I've uh, been picking up from from people I follow on YouTube. So um, when they see interaction, they'll start putting it in front of fresh eyes, and uh, that's just good for the channel, as far as I'm concerned. Although you know, small's good too. It's all good. Appreciate you being here. Also, I'll pop this in my store today. Um, it'll have a good fair price on it. It's a nice painting. Um, it's a really nice painting, actually. Anyway, enough of that, and we'll get into something I was, I've was been thinking that, uh, uh, and uh, I'm skipping the talk about the uh, the background color and the fact I did drawing with a thinned out black and stuff, but um, I have been trying to bring that in um, here and there, because what I really feel like talking about, well, two things, I don't want to forget uh, that uh, I've been making some moves on my website and if you click on the uh, the blog tab when you come to my home page or it's on any page um, you'll see that uh, I've brought in a lot of blogs that were my old blogs including the one from when I first started painting in 2009 which is 10 years ago uh, you'll see the style isn't the same mm-hmm <laughs> I put it up there just for posterity, so it was on Blogger, um, and I made an effort to import everything. There's no videos there, by the way. I didn't start doing videos till 2014. So, but actually, uh, I will say, if you look at the older blogs now, some of the older blogs are you'll 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 see the pictures are kind of small, and even the ones with videos, the videos themselves are kind of small. I am um, when I have spare time going in and replacing all of those images with larger images and uh, better previews of the videos so um, and that's like the hundred days of tonalism you know 
Uh, you'll see it there. Yeah, anyway, uh, and I used to write very extensive essays uh, along with doing the videos and all that, and it just it got to be uh, too much work and too much content for little old me. So I decided to just put the emphasis on the videos since in the modern world people seem to be more interested in that than reading essays. But uh, there's a lot of written written content on those blogs. Um, and if you're looking for more ideas uh, and uh, about painting and my approach and attitude about painting, um, you could read it for days, man. Anyway, I didn't want to forget about that. But what I uh, kind of been thinking about talking to you uh, about is um, creativity <clears throat> and um, all the different ways it can manifest in your life and just speaking for myself I think the best feeling I ever have is when I create something that is beautiful or um, and this goes for the music too with the music I like to create things that are sort of cinematic and epic and moving uh, not much different from the paintings except the paintings of course aren't really cinematic in scale because they're kind of small but that could change that could change we'll see anyway um, you've heard me stress a lot uh, if you've been following me for every uh, video I've done <laughs> pretty much now if you've been following me for a while um, I'm always stressing painting all the time and I'm always hitting people on this when uh, uh, they come into my studio and they say, oh, I want to paint, and I did some paintings, and I said, let me guess, the first one was great, and the second one sucked, and you gave up. Yeah, that's very common, or maybe the second one was good, but the third or fourth one was weak, and then you gave up. Um, this is the thing, you really, to really uh, get in line with the absolute spirit of creativity, you need to fall in love and become infatuated with the idea of creation itself, not so much the end products of, of the creation process. Those are a byproduct and um, they are wonderful. Um, and a, a lot of this is like when you move from somebody who's an appreciator of art and, or, and music, um, into somebody who's creating art or music, uh, you still kind of have this idea. You still have this kind of um, love for the the products of of the act of creation, and the actual creation itself can be a bit tedious and oftentimes frustrating because you really don't have the skills to create work that might be in alignment with your um, developed sense of aesthetics. This is a real problem and there's only one solution to it and that is to just work through it and learn to just enjoy creating. And uh, I've said it time and time again and I'm sorry to repeat myself but yeah, you probably need to hear it anyway I imagine because so few people seem to get this unless they're actually professionals and that is that you should be working every day and don't make excuses for why you can't. Uh, you may have children, you may have a job, uh, no doubt you have all sorts of things to do, but let's be real, you're spending a lot of time with that phone, you're spending a lot of time watching Netflix, you're spending a lot of time playing video games or messing around in a zillion other ways, um, but what you're not doing is picking up the brush, and that's really what you need to be doing if you want to get good. You don't need to paint for eight hours a day, I don't paint for eight hours a day, on my most active days. In fact, I had a question on the um, uh, video recently. Someone wondered how many hours I paint a day. On a super um, productive day, I maybe paint five hours, and it's usually far less than that. It might only be three hours. There's a lot of other things that go into the uh, art practice, like uh, board prep and uh, sitting around <laughs> drinking coffee and shooting the shit with my friends and things like that. <laughs> but, you know, it's all good because it what matters is not when I guess I'm trying to get across here, it doesn't doesn't you don't need to spend eight hours a day, you know, laboriously uh, you know, hitting it. That's now of course the more time you spend every day, um, the better, but what I find is if I go past a certain um, point uh, as far as amount of time spent painting that 
uh, I start to get a bit mentally jaded and um, the decisions that I make uh, aren't really as good and I really notice this when I start scaling things up because what one of the things about working on the smaller paintings is that I can move I can cover a lot of ground very quickly and get things done um, but there's times on the larger work where I might just be able to do the sky oh by the way you can see I'm doing that scumbling I talked about to knock the trees back look how powerful that is wow so powerful um, and I wish I'd actually kind of left I, you can see I, I rubbed a little out of the trunk yeah, I'm kind of thinking I could have gone a little further with that, but that's all right. It's all good. I'm happy with it. Actually, yeah, if I'd gone any further with it, it would have been too abrupt. I did, I did the right amount, I think. Anyway, stumbling, great. But back into the uh, the creative things. So, whether you're writing or uh, painting or making music or whatever it is you're doing you should find time every day and I kinda recommend finding the same time a day so that you get into a positive, you create a positive habit so when that time of day comes around you just go oh I guess I need to start painting and don't make those excuses really because you'll notice that once you sit down you've got your paints out you get your your board up and you start actually working that you'll get into it and it'll be fine and if you do something that's not great then then don't worry about it just throw it away or turn it to the wall you maybe you can um, reevaluate it later and see some ways to fix it and some of my best paintings are like that um, in some cases it's taken many years to produce some of my best things because they were they had flaws but uh, it took me a while to um, realize what the problems were or to have an idea how I could fix them and that's all part of the excitement it's you know knowing that you can do that in fact the great thing about painting is that you can totally do that um, and assuming you didn't varnish that painting you could grab it at any time and add or take away something from what well, you can't really take away painting is an additive process but you can remove things by painting over them you know um, in a lot of cases that might be needless detail because detail is not um, not not really um, that helpful but uh, I wanted to just uh, talk about this because uh, here I am I'm, I'm actually like almost dead on with the 10 years right now um, and uh, looking at uh, if you go to that old blog you'll see what I was doing it wasn't tonalism but those are nice paintings and they were informed by my uh, previous like 13 years as a um, commercial illustrator so I was you know a, a competent artist that was, had gotten paid to do work for quite a while um, and surprisingly actually when I went into the tonalism after that period um, in fact the top post you'll see is a tonalist piece but as you go down in that 2009 blog um, you know the oldest one will be the one at the bottom uh, moving forward and you'll see the progress I was making even then then that last I ended the blog on the tonalism and uh, there's a bunch of toneless pieces I did while living in California that I haven't shared online or anything like that but uh, and they were pretty good but then when I, I came out to New Zealand about six or seven months after the last blog post there um, I, I did some good paintings but I did I uh, started to really struggle and uh, um, I've done quite a lot of bad things <laughs> over the years uh, which is fine it's all good you know it's not a problem in fact um, the great thing about doing things that aren't that great is that uh, you can look at them and go wow I don't I don't ever suck that bad now even when I'm bad I don't suck that bad so anyway thank you for joining me today like I said if you haven't hit that like button go ahead and smash that just Use your mouse, use your finger, use a 2 by 4 whatever you got to do. And I appreciate it. I appreciate you coming around here and listening to me burble. And hopefully uh, you, you dug watching the painting happen. And uh, I'll be back real soon with another video. Oh, by the way, sorry it wasn't a past master. It just wasn't working out. I have a couple in the, um, in the can, but we'll, we'll get to them. Anyway, until I see you again, please do me a favor. Take good care of yourself and your family. And... Stay out of trouble.